How you doing? This is David Quicksilver, and in this video we're going to talk about horseshoe scoring using hand signals when we come back. Okay, first we're going to start with the first hand signal will be zero. First you want to establish that you do have zero points with your measuring tool to see if any shoe is inside of six inches away and that is not. So in that case, you turn to the score that's usually in the middle of the court or off the back court and the hand signal for zero is simply a closed fist. Okay, here's the next scenario. Three shoes that are possibly not points and one that is definitely looks like a point. If you take your measuring tool, it is within the limit. Six inches no and no on that one. So how you call this one? The person that threw that shoe will actually look at the scorekeeper and they will go one point. Okay, so in the next demonstration we're going to focus on how to call two points. Make sure that these are not a point for your opponent and these are obviously two points. So if these are your shoes you're going to stand up, look at the scorekeeper and hold up two fingers. Okay, this next hand signal will be for three points. So we're going to look at the shoes here. So we're going to take a look at this. You have three points, and since you got three points, it doesn't matter if these are even if these are close or not, because your your three point your your ringer will cancel out their points. So the only thing you would want to do is to see if your extra shoe, your second shoe, was inside of their their shoe to make an extra point. But in this scenario. We're going to call three, and we're not going to give ourselves the extra point. So, how you call that one? Those are your shoes. You look at the scorekeeper. You hold up three fingers, and that will indicate that you got a ringer. Okay, in this next scenario, we're going to take a look at the shoes. You still have a ringer here, but you have a one point. So you actually, this one point is closer than these two other shoes of your opponent, so that's actually four points. You're going to make sure you stand up, have the scorekeeper's attention, and you're going to signal four points if they're your points. And in cancellation, once again, your opponent's not going to do any kind of hand signals because they have zero points, okay? In this next round, you actually had two ringers, and your opponent had two close points. So here we have two ringers and your opponent has two close points, well, they won't count for anything because uh, your ringers cancel those points out. And all you do is take your index finger up in the air and swing it around in a circle, and that indicates two ringers or six points. Okay, let's take a look at this next scenario. You threw a ringer, your opponent threw a ringer, and you threw a closer point. So your ringer is underneath, his ringer is on top. It's a game of cancellation, so those ringers cancel each other, and then that goes to the next closest point. Since you're actually touching the stake, you'll get the point because he has space in between his shoe. So how are you going to call that? That's actually two dead, one point you. Okay? And you make sure you get your scorekeeper's attention. You're going to go two dead. You're going to point it down, meaning dead. And then one. Since you're doing the calling of that signal, they will give the point to you. Okay, the next one is going to be two dead zero. So you threw a ringer, your opponent threw a ringer, and you're going to measure for points. This is a six inch side, and there's no points awarded. So how you're going to score that is get the scorekeeper's attention, and you're going to go two dead, zero. So that'll give you and your opponent a ringer for your averages, but no points will be awarded. Okay, the next one will be you have three ringers on, you have a six pack, and your opponent has one ringer on and one close. So you have six points, your opponent canceled the one, one ringer, so that leaves you with three points. Since this is a dead shoe because your other ringer canceled that shoe out, it's going to be called two dead, three. Now you call that one to your scorekeeper, make sure they have your attention, and you're gonna have two dead, three. Okay? Two dead, three. Okay, and the last call that you're going to have is one of the shots that I hope everybody gets in their career quite often, 
and that is four ringers. That's a case where all four shoes count and that's considered four dead. How you call that? Make sure you get your scorekeeper's attention and you're going to go four dead. Okay? Four dead.